My name is Diana Hobson and this is Youth Development. This program is actually for Gulu FM, but I felt I should share with you as well. So I'm talking about youth development. Do you know that today's population, Ghana, our population today is 31,488 and 633. That's today our population. And out of this number, over 65% is youth. And so you can see that the youth is very, very important. And um, Ghana, we define our youth as people between the ages of 15 and 35. So from 15 and 35, we have a lot of people in Ghana who are between this age range. And that tells you that there's so much hope and future for us because the young has the ability to do things. They are young and fresh and so it's very, very important that we take good care of our youth. Why? Because they play a very big role in nation building. In fact, it is the power of every country to develop its youth well so that they can be responsible and bring social reform within the country. Now, the youth of the country determines the future of the nation. So if we want to see the future of Ghana, then we need to invest in our youth today. Youth simply brings renewal, refreshment, and maintenance. That is what they stand for. They are new, fresh. They, they, they can maintain things because they are young. And so how can we help our youth play their role as we want them and play it well? That means we have to sow into them. And... Um, how do we sow into this youth and get them to what we want them to do so that our future will be great? Now, there are three ways that you can think about if you are old like me. One, you can look at your neighborhood and, and, and find out how many youth do we have here. Look, you can start small. You can just identify one person and let the person know that you are watching, you are looking, you have hope in him or her that she can do it. What school is he in? What is he pursuing? How are things going? Just be concerned about this one and be a role model to that person. And it will be a difference in that person's life. Now I want to talk about certain things that need to be developed to help the youth to grow well. Or if we're talking about youth development, how do we build it? We can build this um, by having this um, things in the youth. One, competence. Um, the ability to do something and, and do it successfully. How can we build competence in our youth? That means our education system should be good to make sure that whatever they are learning, they learn it well and efficiently. Now, if one learns and knows something, it boosts the confidence level of that person. So the person has confidence. And when someone has confidence, he has the faith that he can do something. And, and as a youth, if you have confidence, it will help you go far. And it means that you need to learn properly. Whatever you are gifted with that you have, learn it well so you can do it successfully and efficiently. The third point I will mention is connection. You need connection. We, don't, we are not an island. We all are related and linked to something. Even if you are providing service, definitely your service is for somebody. And so connection is important. Let's be, um, let's be intentional in our relationships and make sure that we have healthy and good relationships. The next will be caring. Apart from being having the competence and the confidence and the connections, you should be caring and compassionate. I mean, life is not only about you. And we can see that a lot. That there are a lot of youth who think it's all about them. No, it doesn't work that way. You need to show kindness and concern for others. You need to have sympathy and pity for the suffering and misfortunes of others. Then comes the third point, the, the fifth point I call character. Character, Suban, if you have, you, you, you have the confidence, you have the competence, you have the connections, you are caring, but you don't have a good character, you will go far. And it's important to build a good character. Now, if you have all these five things, then you can now play your role as a good citizen. You can now contribute your quota to your family, to your community, and to the entire world. I will end here today and talk to you again another time.